if I can. We saw the president's video and I understand the desire of the White House to show the president six feet away, the individual shooting it was wearing a mask. But for regular Americans who are watching this right now, what would your recommendation be? Should Americans who are positive for COVID, if they are in public or in any place at any time, always wear a mask? Um, so the, the CDC guidance on this is clear. People should isolate and uh, and they should be, they should if they're gonna be in close contact with anybody else, they should definitely be wearing a mask. Um, the president was more than six feet away from the from the camera person who was wearing an N95. Again, in that video, you saw that it was outside. So I think it was, from a safety point of view, very safe uh, thing to do. Thank you, Dr. I can ask the last question, I'm Dr. Jacques. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to call on everybody. I'm going to call on everybody. I, I promise. I'm going to call on everybody. Go ahead. Thanks, Green. Um, can you explain the testing cadence and the rationale behind it? You know, given the rise of BA5 and the fact that the president been traveling and having big events, why doesn't he get a daily test? So the testing cadence is determined by Dr. O'Connor, um, his personal physician. He gets tested very regularly. Um, I don't r really think there's a huge advantage of testing like every day. I think- so Had he tested yesterday morning, for example, he might have tested positive in time to not go to that trip and expose any number of people, right? The president, like, uh, he, the protocol behind the president's testing uh, has been both developed by Dr. O'Connor, but I think also has gone through a lot of vetting. It's a, uh, uh, it's what we use to to protect the president and, and those around him, and uh, it's been. I, I don't have anything else to say beyond the no, kind of the protocol look, we have. Look, uh, like Dr. Jha said, it is between it is between him and his his uh, personal doctor uh, on that protocol. He has a regular cadence, as we have uh, spoken about before. We shared with all of you on Tuesday that he tested negative, um, and the reason why he. You saw him yesterday, I just said. He was speaking in front of many of your colleagues uh, outside for 20 minutes in a, on a very, very hot day. Uh, and it wasn't until later, it, later uh, in the day, in the evening, uh, that he was feeling a little tired and he, he was tested today. Uh, look, this goes back to where we have come from where we started. Uh, we have, the president has done the work to make sure that more than 200 million people in this country uh, have been vaccinated. More than 100 million people in this country have been boosted. That's because we have a comprehensive plan to make sure people get vaccinated so that they can be protected. And so that is what's most important here. He has mild symptoms, he continues to work, uh, and, uh, and like many Americans, uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, we have to make sure that we send out message uh, to make sure to get, get vaccinated and boosted if you have it. Yet. Does the president, does the White House, are there any regrets about the amount of time in sort of recent days and past weeks that we've seen him unmasked, shaking hands with people, hugging people, fist bumping, in close contact with crowds? In retrospect, was he too casual? No, I mean, look, I, I, when I look at this is I've said this before from this podium. We have an incredibly contagious variant um, and we've had a protocol that I think has done a very good job protecting the president. The most important part of that protocol, by the way, is making sure that he was up to date on his vaccines and we had access to treatments. Um, the president wants to get out there and, and be with and meet American people. Uh, and engage, and uh, and we always said that this was a possibility. I think I even said it from this stage that this was a possibility. Um, and uh, I think that that the protocols have have kept him from getting infected. And and but we knew that this was a possibility with this incredibly contagious variant. The good news is, and and this was always the point. The good news is. He is, his immune system is very well protected given the, the four vaccine shots he's gotten. He's getting treatment. Uh, he has mild symptoms. Uh, he's feeling fine. His